So how do we convert 90 degrees into radians? Well, it turns out that we need to know a relationship between degrees and radians, okay? So we know that there are 180 degrees, or 180 degrees is equivalent to pi radians. Or in other words, about 180 degrees is equivalent to about 3.14 radians. In other words, this is like saying 57.3 degrees is equivalent to then one radian. Okay, sometimes the pi throws us off, but remember pi, it's a symbol, sure, but it represents a number. 3.14159, blah, blah, blah. So degrees and radians, just simply different measure, different ways to measure an angle. Okay, now I'm going to use the conversion value here up at the top. I'm going to use this known relationship in order to do my conversion. So what we're going to do, and it doesn't matter, by the way, if you wrote this pi radians is equal to, right, 180 degrees, right? It doesn't make a difference. If 2 equals 2, well then uh, I guess, you know, 2 should also equal 2, right? It doesn't make a difference. So what I'm going to do is write down my value of 90 degrees. Now instead of writing the little degree symbol, I'm going to write DEG, okay? And now what I need to do is I need to figure out a way to cancel the degree measurement and only find radians in my answer. So that's what I do when I look back to this conversion relationship. If I want degrees to cancel, remember, this is really like saying 90 degrees over 1. I'm going to take then my known measurement of degrees and plug it into the denominator. And the reason for that is because I want the degrees to cancel. I don't want degrees in my answer. Now, once I put my 180 degrees down in the, new, uh, in the denominator, I must take the pi radians and plug that into then the numerator. And notice here the radians won't cancel, and therefore my answer will be in radians. So now guess what? All you now need to do is just calculate it. First I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to simplify it. 90 goes into 180 how many times? 2. Wait a minute, so guess what? Pi over 2 radians. And you know that to be true, right? If you think about your coordinate system, you know that in degrees this is 0, this is 90, this is 180, and this is 270, right? Working around counterclockwise, which is the standard. You also know that that same coordinate system in radians is zero, it's then pi over two, it's then pi radians, and then it's three halves pi, okay? Working around counterclockwise. So it's asking you 90 degrees, which is O here, is equivalent to how many radians? Oh, pi over two. Huh. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it, all right? Help us out if you can. Subscribe, like, check out some of our other videos. We got thousands of videos out there for you. Thousands, okay? Um, solve specific questions. So in chemistry, physics, we get a whole bunch of other subjects coming up, biology, uh, organic chemistry if you're moving on into college, or if you're in high school and in a really advanced chemistry course, I guess that'll work out too. Um, but yeah, check it out. All right, we go through the OpenStax textbooks. All the problems are basically the same, no matter what textbook you're using, what class you're using, right? Well, not what class you're using, what class you're in, okay? It doesn't really make a difference. Uh, but Solving, I think, in my opinion, specific questions is a great way to learn. So check out some of our other videos. Like I said, find specific problems that are basically identical to yours, and you'll know how to solve them. All right? We hope we're able to help. Take care.